<laughs> By all the lands and all the seas. Feels like it's been years since I've last set foot through these doors. The best tavern in the world. And I finally returned. It's damn good to be back. And it's even better to see my favorite tavern keeper again. Have you been, my dear? Well, I can say that our last journey didn't leave me feeling like death with a pulse. But now that I'm here, I feel better than I've felt in a long while. Especially since I've laid my eyes on you. I can assure you that I'm neither a bard, nor am I looking for any coin in exchange for my flattery. I unfortunately lacked any musical skills. Though I'm not in need of coin, so you can rest assured that my compliments are genuine. Especially for you. They always are. What? Do you think that I praise you because I have an ulterior motive? I mean, my silver tongue may be one of my most useful assets. But you've never been the type to be seduced so easily. I'd only be making a fool of myself and wasting time, both yours and mine, if I thought that I could win you over with words alone. However, it's my heart that speaks such words into existence rather than my head. Therefore, you can rest assured that my flattery is very, very genuine. Can you blame me? Really, can you blame me? From that very first time I saw you, standing at this very same bar, every bit as stunning as you are right now, I was enchanted. Then you handed me the first warm meal I've had in months and let me stay here free of charge for the next month. Yes, you did put me to work for that month. I am... I accept that, but that doesn't negate the kindness of your offer. You could have just as easily turned me away and given the rooms to a paying customer. But you, oh you devilish, you didn't. Instead you gave me a place to stay, and the opportunity to find my footing. Even with such an attractive face, I couldn't have predicted you'd have an even kinder heart. Especially given the wicked words that your tongue speaks. <laughs> but truly, your gesture was kind beyond what I could ask for. Especially given the trouble I have caused you when I try to work at your side. God knows that I only made your job harder. But you continued to allow me to work at this very tavern. Spending my days serving drinks in exchange for a roof over my head. You taught me much of what I know about gambling and swindling, as well as the most creative swears I've ever heard. Very beautiful indeed, darling. I spent every day working at your side, and we ate together every night before bed. And I was happy. Incredibly happy. I dare say that I was the happiest I've ever been. Ever as you know, all things, all good things must change, not come to an end altogether. Even back then, I knew this. So when I was on the docks and was offered a place on the ship about to set sail, it was an obvious sign that I needed to leave before I overstayed your most generous welcome. So I rushed back to here, thank you for your kindness, and told you that I would return in the future before I eventually set off to sea. It was when I was on that ship that I had found what I've been lacking when I came to you. A purpose. Mm. I came to you with a life I no longer wish to belong to. One I couldn't even tell you of. You gave me the means to start a new one. You gave me the greatest gift I could never have asked for. And I doubt I could ever, ever repay that. So 
sorry. Sorry for my sentimental rambling. But all of that was to say that you allowed me the chance at a new life. And I'm very eternally grateful. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have the chance to find my love for the seas. And eventually form my own crew and travel the entire world. Listen. I owe my life to you. I... I owe everything to you. I feel that I can't say that enough. Everything I have and everything I am, I owe that to you. I appreciate that you think that all of my growth has been my own, but it truly hasn't. You and everything you've done for me have changed the trajectory of my life. I would hardly be a pirate captain and with a reputation known across the lands and seas. I wouldn't have a crew or ship. Else I doubt I'd even have a life to live. I'd most likely be dead and rotting if the vultures hadn't already picked my bones clean. You kept me from such a fate. You, you saved me. And I owe you for that. No, no try denying it. I may not have a formal contract saying that I must repay you, but I refuse to let such a debt go unpaid. Especially to such a dear, beloved friend. It's with that in mind that I have, um... Hmm, a proposition. I suppose would be a good term for that. I have a proposition for you. Your skepticism wounds me. You don't trust me. After all this time. <laughs> but joking aside, I promise it's nothing so evil or wrong. It's simply a proposition between close friends. Just an idea I wanted to present to you for your kind consideration. Well, there's no way to know until I tell you, is there? So perhaps I should just tell you my proposition, and if you think it's truly something loathsome, then I will gladly sit and listen to you to tell me of. <laughs> oh yes, gladly. I'd be happy to listen to you for as long as you please. Even if you are scolding me. Maybe even more if I'm being troubled. I'll admit to missing the ways you... You would tell me off for bleeding all over the counter. I always get the feeling that you use scolding as a way to show that you care. And that pleasant thought made the sutures hurt much less. Ah! Oh, oh, sorry. You meant to tell you more about my offer. Sorry, I have to stand now. <laughs> I can't deny where my thoughts went when you ask me to tell you more. I promise that I shall stick to the topic at hand now. If you can quit laughing at me. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Now I have no subtle, flowery way to present this offer, so I'll just say it outright. My proposition is this. I want you to join me on my ship and become part of my crew. I assure you, I'm completely serious. I want you to join my crew and set sail with me. Oh, there, there are vast many reasons. Uncountably infinite even number of reasons. And I want you at my side. And I suspect that even I am not consciously aware of all of them. I suspect that if you were to join me, some of these reasons would become clearer in my mind as we spend more time together. And I might even be able to share these with you. However, the main reason is just, uh, I just said, I wish to repay you for every kindness you showed me. 
I know, I know. I know that this is your tavern, and you've spent so long making it as it is. But this isn't meant to be your fate forever. Dear, you are growing restless, I can see it. This life, your life, needs to change. You need a start, just like the one you gave me. You may call me selfish for this, but I wish to give you this start. I want to be the one to extend this offer for you. Even more selfish yet, it's because I want your life to still include me. I want to live a life by your side. I wish to be there for you, even more than I can be now. I, um, dear, I, I miss you more each time I leave, and I seek to hit two birds with one stone. I, I wish to give you the change in destiny that you crave, as well as to have you as a more steadfast presence in my life. It's as I said, I am so very selfish, but I still want to see you happy. There's no denying that I would gain something from this proposition, and I won't try to hide such fact. But I still wish to give you something that brings you joy. I wish to see you happy. I want to see that spark of light in your eyes. It's there still, but no Poseidon, it's so dull now. I want to nurture it back to health. See it grow back into that lightning storm like what it was when we first met. I want to see that wild joy in your eyes once again. Both for your sake and for mine. Of course, you're free to turn me down. I would understand if you did. This is your home, and I will not tear it away from you, nor you away from it. If you wish to remain here, I will accept that answer with no question. Despite the longing I see in your eyes, whenever you look towards the sea... Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to remain impartial as I say this, but... As you can see, I'm having a bit of difficulty. <laughs> I digress. As I said, I will accept whatever decision you make, without question or judgment. So I ask of you, my dear, that you at least consider my offer. If you were to join my crew, darling, I would show you a life of wonder and excitement. A life that I know you long for. I'd give you the world, and all I ask is that you allow me to see it with you. If you don't have your answers now, that's fine. It's no small choice to make. I expect that you want time to make it. But we set sail in one week, and I fear that our next... Expedition will take far longer than any before. I'll need your answer before then. <sighs> I'll leave you to your work then. If you should need me, I'll be just a few doors down. You know which room I've chosen. And I trust you still keep a spare key for it. You're always welcome in, and I'd be happy to talk with you. No matter what we talked about. If you would prefer not to, that is fine as well. I... I'd like to share a meal with you one last time before we set sail. Just... just like we used to. So if you'd please... I'd like you to join me for dinner on the last night of this week. Please. I'll cook for us. I just ask that you be there. Please. I'm afraid it will be the last time I have the chance to enjoy your company for... for a while. And once we're done, you can tell me your decision. And then, 
Well, I guess we'll have to see, won't we? <laughs> Until then, I suppose. Have a good evening, my dearest darling. I'll be around the city. If you need me, simply call for me and I'll return for you. Hand, please. Cheers, darling. None went by, and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her.